morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie, if you're new here, and I do visit videos about fashion, uh, over 50 lifestyle, home, makeup, jewellery, all that good stuff. So if you'd like to stick around, I'd love it. Uh, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up for me. Um, and if you're a returner, thank you so much. I really enjoy the fact that we have this nice little community here and that you all often comment and, and sort of take the time to do that out of your day. I really do appreciate it. So today's video is about uh, fashion. It's my passion. It's they're my favourite videos to do. I enjoy filming uh, fashion videos for you and I know you enjoy them. They, they get lots of watches, which is great. And um, today's video is from a lovely brand called Retira who reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try a few pieces from their collection. So that's what I did. So they've sent me four items um, and they're all in XL, just for reference. I'm five foot three and generally a size 16, occasionally a 14 on the top, occasionally an 18 on the bottom, but generally overall I'm a, I'm a 16. Uh, all these pieces are XL and they, so that's equivalent to a 16 for a tier. I just have a look on their measurements and all the information is on the website. I will link the website below for you and I've also got a really nice um, discount code which I'll come to later but let's start with the first piece now in my mind when I was choosing these items I was thinking about the transition I'm looking out the window now it's really quite windy and blowy the trees are all starting to sort of slightly change colour and I'm definitely thinking about the transition from summer into autumn and um, I don't know about you guys but that's where I am in my mind and so even though some of these pieces are a little bit summery I feel that you could easily transition them into autumn just sort of by thinking about the way you wear them so without further ado let me start with the first piece now this is a white shirt now it's not a very, very fine white shirt. It's a little bit thicker than that. I don't know if you can see the detail. It's kind of an open weave. Now, I picked this because I really liked the buttons. The buttons are sort of a tortoise shell, which I thought was a, a nice nod to autumn. And also it's a nice big oversized shirt. Can you see that? Full length sleeves and you've got the buttons on the cuffs as well. As I said, this is an XL and I haven't tried it on yet, but it looks like it will be quite oversized on me, which is what I was going for. Um, so without any more chatter, I'll try it on for you. Let me have a look at the um, material. It's 100% rayon, this one. Is that cotton? I'm not sure, I'd have to look it up. I'll check, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but it feels like... Um, a slightly thicker cotton. It doesn't feel like linen, it feels like something in between. So it doesn't feel like it would crease like a linen, but also it's not a super, super thick shirt. It's sort of that in between transitional shirt, if you like. So without any further chatter, let me try it on for you and see what you think. Okay, I've got the shirt on. So <clears throat> I love the fit. It's nice and big and loose on the arms. I have quite chunky arms. So if you've got a problem with your arms at the top, you should be fine with this shirt. <clears throat> it fastens very easily. It's a nice length as well, not massively long, just about right on me. Let me pop the camera down and you can see the whole length. So it comes to sort of mid thigh, it's like that shirt hem style. Nice and long, just past my bum at the back. Um, yeah, I really like this. Um, now, I know it looks oversized, but that is the look I was going for. Um, I've got a navy top underneath it. Now, you could easily wear a long sleeve vest top with this if you wanted a bit more warmth. Um, and I've got my next old leather belt that I've had for years and years and years. I've also got on my uh, wide leg trousers from Marks and Spencers. These are the high-waisted mum jeans in a 16. And I've also got boots on with this today. I've got these this, they're um, pavers boots, they're like a brown suede boot, just because I've got a brown belt on and I thought the two would go together. Um, so yeah, I really, really like the look of that. Now, to, as a, on a day like today, with these layers on, I'd probably have a long sleeved top on where you could see the navy popping out here. Um, I would just add a scarf to this. Um, this scarf has got greens and blues, it's like a ditzy print. So probably pop that over the top just to keep me warm. I always feel if your neck's warm, then you, you're, you're halfway there. Um, 
So I could wear it like that and I would just pop a one of my usual bags on with it. Um, this is just a navy, navy one with the stripe you've seen before. So yeah, I feel today's about 15, 16 degrees and I feel like you could go out in this and feel really put together but not too warm, not too cold. And if it got too warm, you could easily take the shirt off and have your either your vest top or a long sleeve t-shirt underneath. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really pleased with that. Let me know what you think. I really like the material. It's hard to describe it, but it's kind of like um like an open weave. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it feels really soft and comfortable. It feels like cotton, it feels really nice. Um, so yeah. That's the first one. Let me know what you think. Let's go on to the second one. Okay, next up is this very autumnal um, cardigan. Again, in an XL. I feel like this is gonna be, no, this is in a 2XL and I think it's gonna be a bit big on me, but I'll still be able to show you how I would style it. So it's got these hoops, stripes of um, like a mid-brown, uh, a very dark green, a grey, a chocolate brown, and then a burgundy, and then an orange. So it's got all those gorgeous autumnal colours in. Now, it's very fine-knit cardigan. It's just edge-to-edge, -edge, long sleeves, quite a good length. Let me step back and show you. So, yeah, it's quite... It will be down to my knees, I'm certain, if not beyond. Um, now, what is it made of, this one? <clears throat> This one says 95% polyester and 5% spandex and it's got, it has got a nice stretch to it. <clears throat> but I, I was really drawn to these sort of autumnal colours. I just thought it'd be a nice easy throw on because sometimes in autumn we get those days where you think oh it's going to be chilly today and you put your cardigan on and you get out, you've been out for, for an hour and you think, hi, I'm melting. I did it the other day. I thought, I wish I'd got more layers on and I could take something off because I was really super warm. So I thought this might be a nice addition to my autumn wardrobe, whether it's going to be too big or not, we shall see. Um, but yeah, I'll pop that one on for you and let me know what you think. I think the 2XL, I can't, XL is 16. It might even be a 20 this. So, so I'm not quite sure why they've sent me this one, but. I think it's going to be big on me. So anyway, we will try that on and I'll let you know. We'll see what you think. Okay, I've got the cardigan on for you. Now I've changed my top for this very coloured, lightweight. Um, it's a jumper, but it's a very lightweight jumper with a back wing sleeve. And I just thought it would pick out this nice berry tone in the, um, this berry tone in the uh, cardigan. It is too big, this cardigan, but I do think I can get away with it because it's edge to edge and quite flowy. I don't think it looks enormous. Um, I've rolled the sleeves up because if I leave the sleeves down, they're sort of too long. So I've rolled the sleeves up a little bit, but it's easy to roll them up. It's quite a versatile cardigan to work with. Um, let me show you the full length. So, as I said, it's down to about my knees. Um, I quite like this. This um, berry tone is going to be very in this year, and I think this might be quite a nice outfit. I think I'd probably wear maybe a dark coloured pair of trousers, either chocolate brown or maybe a black jean or something like that to go with. It would look good. I've kept the, the original boots and jeans on and my belt. Um, yeah, what do you think? It's got pockets. It's very nice and flowy. Um, I wouldn't normally go for a cardigan this long because I always think it drowns me. But I actually think that with these jeans, it doesn't look too bad. It almost gives me a 70s vibe. You know, the stripe and the long sort of 70s hippie vibe, which, as I said in one of my previous videos, is going to be a thing this autumn. So, yeah, you know, maybe it'll work with that. But I do like this. And I think just as an extra layer... Again, you could pop a, a chocolate coloured um, scarf on or you could pick any of these colours out and pop a scarf on and it would look fine. And I do think if you're warm around your neck area, then then you can sort of cope. Um, but yeah, I think this might be a really nice just transitional piece into the colder weather. It's not, not going to be any good for when it's really chilly, but 
for this time of year, I think it works really nicely. So just let me know what you think. But I'm, I'm impressed so far. Yeah, quite um, some quite nice pieces. Okay, let me try another one on for you. But not least is this gorgeous shirt. Now this is just the same as the first one, except it's this lovely creamy colour. It's like a, a mid tan, which I really like. Sometimes if I buy tan colours, if they've got any yellow tones in them, they don't suit me at all. But I think this one will be fine. It's an XL again. You might be able to see on the back actually the weight, the the um. Can you see it's got like this very open weave on it? Um, again, it's got the nice tortoiseshell buttons. It's exactly the same as the white one, but in this nice um, cream colour, which I thought was quite autumnal. Um, and again, because it's slightly heavier shirt, I think you could wear this as like almost like a jacket. Um, so yeah, I will try again. I will try that on for you, and let me know what you think. Okay, I've got the cream tan, whatever you want to call it, uh, shirt on. Fits exactly the same, which is great. Um, same length, just exactly the same. This is an XL. I really like this shape at the side of this. Now I've got this on with a black vest top and uh, the same jeans, but in black. I bought the black ones, if you remember. Let me pop the camera down a little bit so you can see. Yeah, I've got the black high rise mom jeans on and I've also got my, um, H&M chunky boots, which I had last year. Um, yeah, I really like this. I think this colour is going to be great for autumn and into winter as a layering piece. As I said, you could easily, I could easily fasten this. It's not too tight or anything. It's just, I think I prefer my silhouette with sort of a, you know, this column down and then I always think it makes me look a little bit slimmer. Um, Again, you could style this with a scarf. I've got this one from Poetry. Um, you'll have seen this already. I've shown it on my channel before. But I think this one just sort of goes with the black and just brings out the cream in the uh, in the um, shirt, actually. So there's that. Um, and I would style this with my black bag with the leopard print which is another little nod to the fashions that are coming up, the leopard print bag. I didn't know it when I bought it, but it, it's kind of going to fit in with this autumn trend. So yeah, what do you think? It's a bit warm to have a scarf on in here. I really like these shirts. I would definitely buy them again. I don't know whether they do them in any other colours, but they, every item I'm showing you will be linked in the description box below. So yeah, one more item to try for you. Let's get on with it and see what you think. Okay, next. Now, on first impressions, you might not think autumn for this, but I did think um, it would be great addition to my summer wardrobe next year. But also, I thought you could actually wear this with a denim jacket, maybe, and some trainers. And on a, on a nicer day in autumn, you could probably get away with it and it would be a nice pop of colour. Now, it, the sleeves are short for me and I would probably always wear it with something over the top. As you know, I don't like showing my sleeve, uh, my arms. It's an XL, so it's gathered at the waist. It's got pockets, and then I just don't fit. I'm not sure whether the skirt's going to be long enough. As you know, I'm not keen on showing my legs, but for the sake of, of you guys, I will try it on for you. So, yeah, it's a nice stretchy material, nice and soft. Let me see what the, um, what the material is for you. Yeah, again, this one's polyester and spandex, so it's got it's got a nice stretch to it. So, but it doesn't feel polyester, if you know what I mean. It's not slippy or shiny. It's, it feels quite comfortable, almost like a jersey material. So yeah, it's got this darker pink pattern with the brighter pink. So it's definitely a summer dress, but I think you could you could sort of dress it with a jacket and trainers and get some part into the autumn with it. So. Um, I'll try it on for you. Let me know what you think. Okay, the dress. I think this is our only fail. Um, it fits fine, plenty of room and it. it's got a nice V-neck and it's got these sleeves that to sit about there, which is not too bad. Um, I've got it with a denim jacket over the top. Um, let me step back a bit for you. It's elasticated to the waist, but it's kind of not under the bust and not sitting low enough on my waist which is not right, let me take the jacket off so I can have you can have a proper look so let me come down a bit 
So yeah, it's a bit strange the way it sits on me on the waist. It's got pockets which makes the skirt puff out a little bit more than I would like. Um, and it's not long enough really. Um, this is the sort of dress I would maybe wear with trainers. Um, and it's just not, if it was kind of there, that would be fine. But because it's not, I just feel very exposed. I feel like my legs are chunky enough without being emphasised with cut off trainers and then a cut off dress. Um, yeah, it's nice and lightweight. The material feels lovely. It's stretchy. The sleeves are not as short as I thought they would be. I just don't think it does anything for me. It's just an odd shape on me. You know, if you've got a different shape, it might be perfect on you. Um, but yeah, this is a bit of a fail. Even with the denim jacket, um, I don't think it's for me. But, you know, you live and learn. Um, but the size, the XL sizing is perfect. If you're a 16, then the XL sizing has worked really well for me. So all in all, a nice haul. Um, and I think this is the only fail. So let me know what you think in the comments. Please be kind as always, I know you will be. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the right era haul. So I will add my discount code, I think it's Julie, for 40% off, which is a really good discount. So if you're interested in that, everything will be linked below. Just click through and have a look. But thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed that. As always, I love doing a fashion haul for you. Um, so this is a little extra video in, in my week that I wouldn't normally do. Um, and I will be back with the next one soon. Bye for now. Thank you.